Dear brothers and sisters, this is a homily for Easter Sunday, year C. Christ is truly risen, alleluia. On this Easter Sunday, we find the first witnesses and the first proof about the resurrection of Christ. The gospel passage speaks of the beloved disciple who went into the tomb, saw the linen clothes, and believed in the resurrected Christ. In a more concrete way, based on the scripture readings of this Sunday Mass homily today, how and what indicates the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ? Who is this beloved disciple as the gospel passage describes him? And finally, what is the importance of resurrection in our life today? What is the gospel passage for this Easter Sunday? This Sunday Mass homily is based on the gospel passage according to St. John chapter 20 from verse 1 to 9. In addition to that, the three readings of today present to us the first proof and at the same time the first witnesses to the resurrected Christ on the first day of the week. Who are these witnesses of resurrection? They are Mary of Magdala, Simon Peter, and the beloved disciple. Before all else, let us remind ourselves about who is a witness. A witness is a person who experienced personally an event that took place and therefore he narrates how it happened later on to others. However, not all witnesses are credible. Hence, we can ask, who is a credible, verifiable, and objective witness? Of course, the first main characteristic is that one must have directly experienced the event, have a good memory, and a reliable person. Looking at the gospel passage of today with these three orientations, we find the three witnesses, namely Mary of Magdala, Simon Peter, and the beloved disciple are credible witnesses. Looking at the gospel passage of today with these three orientations, we find the three witnesses, namely Mary of Magdala, Simon Peter, and the beloved disciple. Are these three witnesses credible? Of course, they are credible. Why? Because one, Mary of Magdala was the one that Jesus healed, expelling seven demons from her, and later on, she followed him up to the foot of the cross, and eventually today, at the tomb. Two, Simon Peter and the beloved disciple. They were very close to Jesus and in most occasions, Simon Peter and the beloved disciple are often seen together in this gospel passage. Briefly, the beloved disciple is identified as John, the one who followed Christ even up to the foot of the cross. Hence, it is worth noting that the three first witnesses of the resurrection are credible witnesses given their closeness to Christ before and after his resurrection. How did the first witnesses experience his resurrection? The journey to bear witness starts when Mary of Magdala, early Sunday morning, went to the tomb even though she did not enter in simply because it was empty tomb and she was afraid. The emptiness of the tomb changes the tempo by running towards Simon Peter and the beloved disciple. Again, upon hearing that, the walking pace for the two disciples also changed. That is why they started running towards the tomb. We can say that Christ's resurrection brings some changes in the life of these three witnesses, such as running, sharing the good news, and making an act of faith. On arrival at the tomb, 
they entered in differently. They saw the same linen clothes and the clothes that was over his head apart. But more interestingly, the beloved disciple saw and believed in the resurrected Christ. In fact, their arrival at the tomb makes some significant progress as far as the journey of faith is concerned. What does empty tomb mean? Indeed, this empty tomb is one of the first proofs that Christ resurrected from the dead. The beloved disciple who went into the tomb saw and believed in the resurrected Christ. In other words, he was able to pass from the empty tomb to the meaning of the empty tomb. This beloved disciple is a good model for us because he had not encountered the resurrected Christ, yet he believed just by seeing the linen cloths and empty tomb. That is why Jesus says in John chapter 20, verse 29, blessed is the one who believes without seeing. When we forgive and love one another, we are beloved disciples. And that is how we can experience the resurrected Christ in our Christian life today. Finally, what is the importance of resurrection today? The resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ is important in the following three ways. One, resurrection of Christ is the foundation of our Christian faith. Indeed, it was after resurrection that his followers started regrouping in his name as Christians. Resurrection happened on Sunday, the first day of the week, as indicated in the gospel text. And that is why we Christians gather on Sunday as the day of worship. In this regard, Easter Sunday is the mother of all Sundays. Second, resurrection gives us the immense witness power of God, which means God who created the whole universe has the power over death, and that is why he raised Jesus from the dead. Therefore, to believe in the resurrection is to believe in God. Finally, resurrection validates who Jesus claimed to be, Son of God, the Messiah. It was foretold by the ancient prophets and it was fulfilled by his resurrection. He is truly the savior of the world. In baptism, we die with him and resurrect with him. To conclude, through the witness of the first disciples and the first proof of his resurrection, we are invited to experience the resurrected Christ in our daily life and believe in him because he is truly risen from the dead. Amen. Have a blessed Easter Sunday.